Best self-defense weapon for polite Canadians. What I realized a while ago, we did an episode with Sensei Seth, and he was saying how many people he can fight. Two guys, can he beat them off? Yeah. Three guys, yeah. Didn't work out that well. Maybe he didn't do things that you deemed appropriate, but that made me kind of realize, because I was like, you know what, if three guys come and fight me, uh, uh, it's not gonna be a big deal, you know, I'm a world champion, I'll take yeah, one you'll one. you'll punch one, he'll die, you'll punch two, yeah. he'll die, and maybe the third or, one goes away. Or, or I'll just run away and they won't catch Because you're in shape. Because I'm in shape, but like mm -hmm. you said today, what are, what are all those scenarios where I can't run away? You could have someone with you that can't run as fast as you. You could have a, you know, your, a family member with you. Yep. You could be in charge of where you are. I can't run away from here if I have like my people here and someone's yep. trying to hurt me. Um, you might be injured. You might realize that, oh, he picked a fight with me because he's bigger, stronger, faster, and more physically capable than me to begin with. I might not can run away. So there's this whole list of reasons why maybe at some point in my life, I might have two or three people come up and I might have to fight them. I can't run away mm -hmm. and maybe I actually can't beat them. It's possible. Then I go, okay, what can I use to my advantage? What kind of weapon in Canada can I have? I'm not gonna walk around with a handgun. I'm gonna get arrested and thrown in jail. Or a flamethrower. Or flamethrower, I can't <laughs> have my flamethrower. I can't use any of that. So what can I use to make sure that I have an advantage against multiple opponents? But before we get to the number one tool in street self-defense, I wanna give a big shout out to Athletic Greens and their AG1 formula for sponsoring this episode. This product, not only does it support immunity, but it also aids with digestion and absorption in the body. It has 75 all natural ingredients and it can replace your supplement cabinet in one scoop. Now, what I really wanna highlight for you is the flavor profile because my dad has been drinking this with me and he's a big fan of these green drinks. He went, sometimes they taste like dirt, sometimes they taste like candy and he doesn't like either. And we both agree that this is a happy medium. It tastes healthy, but it's also very nice. And for all you athletes out there, you don't have to worry. This is NSF certified. You don't have to worry about any bad drug tests. If you have those New Year's resolutions to get yourself healthier, AG1, this is gonna help you do it. You can head over to athleticgreens.com forward slash Gabriel Varga and you can get yourself a free year's supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packets with your first purchase with Athletic Greens. Get your health on point. What can I use to make sure that I have an advantage against multiple opponents? So if you already know about hard to hurt, <laughs> you already know what my answer is, but uh, it's informed even more so with regards to Gabriel Varga because the, the laws are different in Canada, the culture is different, your personality is different. I could tell him, well, I want you to stick a knife in somebody. Yeah, I'm not going to carry a knife around. I don't think you would carry a knife. I don't think so. And I don't think you would relish the thought of sticking a knife in someone. Mm -hmm. And all you Rambos in the comments, regardless of what you say, not every confrontation, even if it turns physical, is a legally justified use of deadly force. Okay. Some people say, oh, if someone does, like, oh, I don't care. I'm, I'm going to be safe no matter what. But have fun in jail. That always goes through my head. I've been pushed. I've been had people punch at me. I'm like, yeah. if I hit this guy back and I <laughs> knock him out and he hits his head on the curb and he dies, yeah, I'm probably still going to get charged with manslaughter. You, you, I don't know if I will, but... I don't know how it is in Canada. There's a good chance. There's a good chance, depending on the circumstances, that, like, if, and then even if not, even if they say, no, he was definitely trying to kill you, and you were legally just about defending yourself, you're gonna think about that forever. I don't yeah. care how tough you are. Yeah, so what's the tool? What's the tool that I can keep that's good? I don't have to feel bad about walking around with. What do we got there? It's a flashlight. It like a, I was gonna say it looks like a flashlight. So he's, he's hesitant because he thinks it's a gimmicky flashlight. Nope, no, it's, it's just a flashlight. it's a real flashlight. It's just a flashlight. Okay, so how do I use this as a, how's this, I mean, I could be like, okay, I can punch harder now. Yeah, you can reinforce your fist, yep. But what's, what's the thought process here? <laughs> so I've, I've been, Lauded and criticized both for saying that the flashlight is the best self-defense weapon. Okay. Is it the most lethal? No. Right? There's things that are more lethal. But it has one thing. When you're looking for a new strategy or a technique to use in a fight. Yeah. Are you looking for the perfect technique that works every time? Does, is there any technique that works perfect every time? Precisely. You're looking for the one that works in a high percentage of circumstances that you are likely to find yourself in. Okay. 
That's what it is. Okay, you're not. Answer. Yeah, good job. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna. It's not. There's no one perfect, one weird trick to win every street fight. Yeah. So this works in a wide variety of circumstances, and its success rate is very high. Tasers have about a 50% success rate. You're flipping a coin when you point a taser at somebody, whether it's going to have its intended effect. Okay. A blunt impact weapon. They don't have a great track record. You know, you hit people with them, unless you hit them in the head and potentially kill them, they don't do much. Everyone in the comments is going to say, yeah, right, you can break forearms and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> I've never seen it, you know. Uh, even pepper spray has a rate of failure. Even guns have a rate of failure. They don't always work. The flashlight nearly always does what you intend for it to do. And I'm so interested. What uh, yeah. I, have, I have ideas in my mind right now on what what is going to do and how you're going to use it, and we'll see if it's we'll see if it's right. So for you, you already have a skill set. I wouldn't try to replace your skill set and teach you something new. Right. You already uh, assume your normal fighting stance. Yeah. So right. so so you come up, you give me a push or something. Yeah. Like oh, there's a couple guys. Uh, like, oh, what, this, what am I doing? From the get go, it doesn't interfere with what you would normally do. You'd normally put your hands. No, you can go ahead and have it in your hand. Okay. So yeah, yeah. I would I would, I would yeah, pull just it put, right put it in your hand. And do what you would normally do. Assume your normal fighting stance. Probably it's, probably like that. Yeah, it's already deployed. Yeah. Right? You can still box me. You can still kick me, knee me, clinch me, throw me, take me down. Or keep me from doing all those things to you very easily. But with the added benefit of every time you go to do something. Jeez. Got him. Finally. That was finally funny. got Gabriel Varga. Right? That was so bright. And this it's is so in, small. And this is in the... The daytime, our eyes have not adjusted to the darkness. Ooh. Think about in a parking lot at 10 o'clock at night when your eyes have opened up and they're trying to take in more light because your eyes, your eyes open to absorb more light so you can see better. So I potentially put this in the wrong hand because you're talking, because I put it here like I'm getting ready to punch, but I don't want to do this and then use my lead hand. Would you go front? You're so smart. I'm glad you asked that. I usually carry it in my front hand. Okay. I learned to use this in conjunction with a handgun. So oh. I needed my right hand free. Okay. I tell people if you're never ever going to be a pistolero, yeah. which you're probably not, you can make a case for it in your rear hand. You can put it in your rear hand because yeah. you need your lead hand for what? I mean, this is, this is my blocking That's what I or, thought here. And then I thought this is my Or punch. leveraging or clinching or yeah. whatever or, or fighting this and you can punch with that. You could blind me with that. So I just put that in there. Yep. Okay. So it's that's And the you way just you box it. with it. Okay, so this is okay. Yeah, so it's gonna be any time I want. I can do yeah. something like that and then come down the middle. Yes. Oh. Woo. Flash, bash, and dash. If you game, it's a debuff. If you're familiar with a debuff, you are simultaneously giving yourself more information and taking information away from me. You're making me unable to react to what you're doing. You put this in their eyes, and then you are Jeez. somewhere else. It's so bright. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like maybe it's not coming through on this, but like every time he puts it there, I'm full of blinded. Yeah. And I gotta say. Because I came with this idea. I want to know what Icy Mike says is the best self-defense tool. Mm -hmm. That's obviously not a handgun because we're not walking around with those. And I was like, I probably won't carry it. I You'll carry that. I was thinking I probably wouldn't. Whatever he showed me, I thought I wouldn't. Now, I'm kind of like, I'm getting one of these. And it's going on me all the time. That's yours. Oh, that's Look, mine. it's even got a little maple leaf on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so if anybody wants to come and pick a fight with me now. Yeah. Because before, because <laughs> before, any, any three people want to come and pick a fight with me now. I'm extra ready. And that's the thing is, if uh, if you use a, a taser, a baton, a knife, or a gun, or pepper spray, if you use that, if you use that on a person that you were mistaken, say I jump out of the bushes, you're already oh. nervous. And I jump out of the bushes. I'm like, hey, let me ask you a question. And you use a weapon on me, you're you might be in a lot of trouble or even feel bad. If you use that on me. And I didn't really need it. No harm, no foul. Yeah. Plus, part of self-defense is situational awareness. You're, you're carrying the, the power of the sun in the palm of your hand. You can illuminate things. If you are worried about, oh, I don't want to walk out to my car at night. I can't see over there by that dumpster or whatever. You can use this to find that out. If you drop your keys, instead of spending a lot of time milling about in the dark looking for them when you should be paying attention to your surroundings, you can quickly and easily find them. It, it, it has a, um, a, as close to a 0% rate of failure as a self-defense tool can get. It always does what it intends to do. No, it's, and then push come to shove, if you want to turn into a lethal weapon, it definitely is. If you, if, yeah, if you hammer fist somebody yeah. in the head with that, yeah. I imagine. just learned so much from this episode. I didn't think I was going to come away with that much. I was just like, oh, you know, I'll probably learn something. I'll probably just stick with my hands. Now i got my own. This is, this is amazing. 
This episode was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this whole trip now was worth worth it just so I could learn this. That's a limited uh, edition. Safer. Limited edition. <laughs> it's titanium. All right. I'm gonna throw Icy Mike's channel because you can learn so much stuff like this. I'm gonna throw it down in the description. You guys be sure to go over and follow him at Hard to Hurt. Thank you so much for this and for filming the episode. Everybody, I know this is not normally a self-defense channel. I don't do a lot of self-defense because I'm not an expert in self-defense. This is, if you're mainly a martial artist, you don't have to learn too much new stuff with this. Yeah. It doesn't require a ton of skill to use. You could put it in your hand right now and do what you would normally do, but just also put it in their eyes every once in a while. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you give Icy Mike's channel a follow. As always, train hard, and I will see you back here soon for another video.